before would be the year when you would see Mona Lisa singing. We were cool. Can the dream they can be so? We were right till we were. So apparently, this is a model released by Alibaba. It's called Emo. Emo Portrait Alive. Now, if you know tools like DID avatars, they effectively take an image. Or hey Gen for that example, they effectively take an image and turn them into a talking avatar of sorts. Now there are open source models to do exactly this, but they are not as good. But this one, the demo that you see here, it's also taken one of the examples from Sora. You know the video that was on Sora's page. You can see this one, and it's turned it into a talking avatar. Let's hear it. Interact with with the digital information, yeah. and it's it's through. So you can see there's a lady talking here on the top. It's basically taking this face. It's taking what the lady's you know talking, and effectively just using one image. It's turning the image into a talking avatar. To you know the form, and it's a minute long, which is insane. Here's another example. This time, you can hear this lady sing. <laughs> You can see this is the song "Peach Share and Perfect," and this video is of OpenAI's Mira Murati. It's almost like they're mocking them. So, input video, any of the image, you can see it also works on these anime images. And look at the expressions. If you use DID or Hagen, you know the expression game is not so strong. But this model promises to change that. Apparently, it's been trained with. On a data set worth over 250 hours of talking head videos, which I don't think is too much, but it's still you know driving insane results. This is the same example from before. You can use an audio, you can use reference image, and you can either make them sing or you can also make them talk. This is the same lady. This is the same lady who was talking before. Oh man, I can imagine how TikTok and Instagram videos are going to look after this. These are again examples of the singing portraits. This is apparently an AI-generated image of Mona Lisa, generated by Dream Shaper XL, and this is on the song Miley Cyrus Flowers. So let's hear it. We were cool. We were cool. Can the dream they can be? I like how the expressions seem very real. If you use tools like DID, you know they are nowhere close to this. It apparently also works on different languages. You can see this is some other language, and and this is like an anime character that's kind of singing the song. Here's another example. Here's another one. Here's another one. There's like an entire library of videos here that you can go ahead and check out. You can see this is the face. There's a guy who's talking in an event of sorts. This is the famous Joker. From the Dark Knight, and the vocal source is from the Dark Knight. My father was a drinker. The actual Joker from Dark Knight, right? So here's another one. This is an AI-generated girl, and then the, the video is published by someone I don't know. You have done nothing but tell me how. So it's. I'm not even going to play it, but you can see this. The overall concept is insane. You can go to GitHub, and there is the paper link here where you can actually read through the paper. So if you open the paper, you should be. Able to look at the technical docs, how they've done the training and stuff like that. It does not seem very detailed, but you can see the technical process here. Again, it's dealing with audios and images separately, and then combining them later on by encoding each frame separately. So for each audio gram, they are probably taking a frame and then deriving the expression for that frame before you know coming to the final video itself. Not diving into technicalities because I want to really try the model. Which I don't think is out now, but the GitHub page is here, so it says kind of might be open source. It's not open source right now, but I hope this turns out to be like an open source model. So I'm really excited for this one. 
there are a couple of use cases that i can think of at this point of time but nothing to really do until the model really comes out so let's see what happens at this point of time seems open source so really excited for this again this was a short video and i hope you guys learned something and I'll, i'll see you guys in the next one